Well, I don't think it would be advisable. Um, um, it's recognizing something which has, um, uh, um, which has yet, I think, to meet some of the fundamental uh, obligations that the Palestinian Authority undertook in, uh, in the Oslo Accords. It has met some of them, but not all of them. Uh, and, um, and the ones that it hasn't met are, I think, some of the prime um, obstacles to reaching a, <clears throat> an agreement with Israel. Um, now, um, the, the facts on the ground are such um, that recognition of a Palestinian state would immediately raise a whole host of issues regarding the borders of that state, the authority of that state, the military capabilities of that state, all sorts of state-related issues, which are actually supposed to be negotiated to a solution and not unilaterally declared. Um, so, um, so in a sense, this is prejudging a lot of issues. Um, and it's raising a lot of issues in a forum which is um, outside the framework of the, the, on, the conduct of uh, Israeli-Palestinian relations. Now, it is a fact, of course, that there is no talk between Israelis and Palestinians on the final status of their relationship between them. Um, but that doesn't mean it couldn't happen in the future. And any step taken now on a unilateral basis will make it absolutely certain that it will never happen. So the best way to, 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 to deliver the coup de grace to Israeli-Palestinian discussions on their future is to take preemptive action that, um, <clears throat> that would put the two parties in oppositional mode instead of a future cooperative mode. 